Correct me if I'm wrong, Mo, but I, I heard that if you're if you're in a taxi rank in the UAE, yep. and there's an Emirati that comes up, oh, yeah. you got to let him yeah. take that taxi. Yeah, yep. or you're going to be if in you disrespect trouble, an right? Emirati, you're deported. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. There really aren't that many Emiratis that live in the Emirates. There's a no. tiny fraction. It's, uh, numbers when I was there was about five and uh, five and a half percent. Yep. The amount of welfare, and this is something that, that within white countries we refuse to do, mm. is encourage fertility. Yep. It, it was always funny speaking with Emiratis while I was living there. Is like, oh yeah, we're hoping to have more kids so that we get a better house. And I'm like, hang on, no, you have more kids, you get, end up with a smaller house, but you can't afford it. Is the traditional way. But no, the government will provide enormous seven bedroom villas as long as you get to three and four kids. Exactly. You, it, the, the the carpet gets rolled out well, instead of NDIS. And resource rich, right? So it comes from the oil money, right? Dubai. Dubai. Dubai is not. Dubai no. doesn't get no. money from oil. It's more oh. tourism. Yep. Oh, okay. It's Abu Dhabi. But it still the, has zero uh, tax, right? Uh, it, they've mm. got a 5% VAT now, but okay. on income tax, 0%. Yeah. Just a company tax. Because I often think, you know, Australia, 27 million people, we've got all these resources. Yeah. Why taxed, are we paying tax? We're paying so like, much tax. at all. So well, you, you know, you've got to ask. Make sure yeah. you Maybe, don't accumulate uh, wealth. Starting to sound like a crazy libertarian now, yeah. but... Uh. Yeah. What's, that, what's that saying? Chris, you might know. It's like if it taxes, uh, if it moves, tax, tax it. You know, if it's if it stops moving, you know, subsidize it. There's a great quote on that. I'm yeah. sure people... Taxation yeah. is left. Taking aside uh, Dubai or Abu Dhabi, Dubai does have small, small oil resource, but Sharjah, Fujairah, Ras Al Khaimah, these other tiny, tiny emirates, they yeah. still have similar policies in this way. Because what could be more important than encouraging your next generation of all of this other stuff that you've got to spend money on? Even defence up there, they have it right at the top of their list, and that, that's it. So it's good policy, and they put their own citizenry first, yep. state-owned enterprises. I think any if, if we followed the Emirati economic policy, mm. it'd be called communist. If you see state-owned telcos, state-owned roads, state-owned everything, yep. you can, so, um, that's why Skype for so long living in the Emirates, you couldn't Skype anyone couldn't Skype. because it's banned. Yep. You had to use the state-owned telecoms to do it. We, we'd we'd call it absolute socialism and have some kind of funny revolt over there. They call it free market capitalism. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> well, I'm not say. a fan of state-owned uh, <laughs> industries because they typically are corrupt and non-productive. But on the other hand, the idea that you should value your own citizens, value your own country, I absolutely support. You know, this this is one yeah. of those things where we we typically a lot of times, you know, in 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 some political circles, value the other uh, as opposed to ourselves. It's it's good in a way because they that pornography is not shared in the UAE. It's very hard to access. And if you use a VPN to do it, you can get caught for it still. Yeah. So it does bring good. It, it stops bringing degeneracy to society. That's why yeah. they want to control the internet in a way. Yeah. It's more done. Uh, you got to remember, it's Islamic countries that they've got Sharia law, like a watered down version um, of Sharia law in in the UAE. No democracy. There is no democracy. Um, it's not. It's not the perfect system. Islamically speaking, it's not the perfect system. It's a watered down version of Sharia law. Again, it does show its benefits. In a way, as in, you don't have that degeneracy. You, good luck having a pride protest there; it would never happen. Okay. Mo, we didn't have that degeneracy either. Yeah. We had British law, and we never. Yeah, you know, it was I, free. I'm, I'm it was for... free, but we had standards. Yeah. That's know, exactly just, how it got it undermined. Just, standards. I'm, I'm for... That's exactly how it got undermined. Were those standards? Were those? If you look back through any any British colonies history, it is exactly those principles. Let's take multiculturalism for you. It wasn't how it was was described to your parents in that way. It's what they took it as. That's not what really what they meant when they said multiculturalism. They made something completely different, which is what we're seeing the implementation of now. It's one thing for what you understand the policy to be. It's another thing of what they intended to be and what they executed upon. Come yeah. on. Well, so you I think try. it was a bait and switch on purpose or just an evolution? Absolutely on purpose. Can I ask a very stupid question? And again, you guys don't. I'm warning you ahead of time. You do not have to opine on this. But what? why 